everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, The Infernal Machine. Hour and 50 minutes long. Um, it's about a reclusive, controversial author who is drawn out of hiding when he begins to receive endless letters from an obsessive fan. What ensues is a dangerous labyrinth of searches for the person behind the cryptic messages. Alright, so I should have read that first and let you know that some crazy fan writes some author some letter so he comes out of hiding. 5.1 on IMDb, but only 904 people have rated it so far. I actually started it to make sure this was right. Um, and they start with, like, a, um, back in the Reagan um, presidency, the guy, I don't know, the guy who went down to um, Knoxville and went into a church and shot people. I thought that was more recent, but then he climbed a bell tower. I don't know. I stopped it after that because I, okay, this is the right movie. Guy Pierce, Alicia Eve, um, Alex Pettifier is in it. Jeremy Davies is in it. I thought I saw... Well, I guess that's all I see. Maybe there's other people. But that's all I see right now. So, I don't know. I'm mildly intrigued. So, let's see what it's about. Give you a better idea. Let you know what I think. Stick around. I'll be back. Hey, everybody. I want to do a quick check-in here. We're watching The Inferno Machine. We're at the one hour, 24 second mark. I really thought it was a lot earlier in the movie, or I would have checked in sooner, but this is a great time. Because I know n not a lot of people watch the entire review, so hopefully you're stuck with me this far, that you're that interested. Because up until this point in this movie, I love it. It is very intriguing. I'll tell you what, the first 20 minutes were tough for me. I was a little tired, sleepy, a little heady for me. Um, he's a writer, Guy Pierce, right? And he, you know, he talks in big words, and he's got all these, uh, you know, um, uh, theories or whatever. You know what I mean? Like he's got an opinion about everything, and it's just way outside of my league. I mean, I don't even have half the vocabulary of my three-year-old. Um, you know, <laughs> so it's like, you know, and I was like, yeah, okay, I'm not that into it. But let's break it down. I'm gonna have to give you some, a little bit of insight about the plot because it did right now. It's fantastic. Um, so just to get you into it, because what they give you isn't enough to draw you in. If you didn't have me, you might not want to watch this movie. So Guy Pierce, he's a recluse. He lives, you know, somewhere out west by himself, whatever. He's getting these letters from some guy. And the guy's writing a book. We don't know a lot about what's in the letters, but he keeps writing Guy Pierce. So he starts to get upset, right? And he starts calling him. He gets his phone number. He starts calling him and leaving him these voicemails, right? Like I said in the beginning... They first referenced this mass shooting that happened in 1981 during the Reagan administration. Um, I didn't know what they meant. So, fast forward. It's not a spoiler alert because this, isn't the, this is just a plot line. Guy Pierce's character wrote a book called The Inferno Machine. And this kid, at the time, read it. And then he went and did a mass shooting. And he said he was brainwashed from his book. Right? And I was like, and that's who Alex... Pertier? Oh, I forgot. I don't know how you say his name. I apologize, my man. Um, and to be honest with you, I like that kid. Uh, probably not a kid anymore, I guess. But, uh, um, yeah, Alex Pettifier, Pettifier, whatever. I've seen him in other things. Um, I am number four. I like them, but I heard he got a bad rap for being on a set. Whatever. I don't care. I'm getting in way too much detail here. But I am excited. I'm awake now. Um... So that was really cool. He plays the shooter, right? And so, you know, he's there. I thought he was a great job in that role. I liked it. I mean, it was a small piece so far, but I liked it. And uh, it just I, and there's a lot more to this, to be honest with you. And I don't want to give it away. Um, but to, when I'm watching this and what they're doing with the film made me like, is this a real book? Because I am intrigued by it. Right, he gives a very brief synopsis of the book to uh, Alice or Alicia, and I'm forgetting everybody's name except for Guy Pierce Eve, Alice Eve. Right, she's in a she's like a cop, a sheriff or deputy sheriff or something like that, who's helping him track down the guy. And she asks about the book, and he gives this very small synopsis of the book. And I don't want to tell you, you got to watch it, and, and you feel what I felt after that because I was like huh and I will at the end of this just say what he said I won't spoil it but if you want to stick around for that again I'm not gonna spoil the ending but I will tell you what he said the book was actually about and it just really made me think and it's like I might want to read that book 
I don't know. I mean, this kid was brainwashed. The, the what he said about the book. Anyway, um, so far I, I'm. I, if you can't tell, I'm very intrigued. Um, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see where it goes from here. Maybe it really falls off the earth after this. But uh, I'll be back, man. That's for sure. <laughs> Hey everybody, we're at the credits of the Infernal Machine, Infern, Infernal Machine, I think I was saying Inferno before, it's Infernal, sorry, I apologize, you know, I'm glad you stuck with me this far so I could correct myself, but I have to say, there was a point after I checked in, after the hour mark, I thought to myself, oh, maybe it's going to fall off a cliff, and it didn't, I mean, things happened that scared me, not like, you know, it scared me from a, I really like this movie and it's going to now get bad. But no, it gets back on track. I think this is, I don't want to say, I guess involved, but it's not so involved that it's hard to follow. It's very easy to follow, but it's, and I don't want to say intricate, but, you know, I, I'm, not doing the, I'm not doing the plot justice by what I shared with you, but I don't want to share any more about the plot because... I think that's half the fun. There's so much more to it. And at times you question, what is this movie really about? And what's going on? And that's great because it kept me guessing the whole time, you know? Um, I don't... And it's hard to say that, like there's twists and turns. I don't know. I just thought, I, I'm a big fan of this movie, and I don't even know how to explain it to you. <laughs> I mean, I know how to explain it to you, but I, I, I just think that there's, they did such a good job of putting it all together for you, you know? Um, I, I'm afraid that they're going to mess up the ending, or this is not really what I thought it was going to be, and it, and it takes you down that path where, hey, yeah, you, you thought it was this, but it's not this, but maybe it is this, it's... Very enjoyable. Guy Pierce does a, a fantastic job. I mean, and, and that's that's the bulk of it. I mean, you know, Alice, whatever her name is, Eve, she's in it. Um, interesting, you know, and like I, I said, the, the small piece that Alex has in it, I thought he does a good job for the most part. There's little pieces here and there I'd mess up. And I will say the mailbox piece is the only thing, not the mailbox itself, but leading up to the mailbox is one of the things that I would I would change. I get we got to do something with that time there, but I thought that was a little over the top. Otherwise, it was pretty good. And uh, the whole, you know, uh, not the maze, but one of those things where, like, uh, every reaction has a reaction kind of stuff. And, like, you know, when, like, the marble falls down, hits the dominoes, the dominoes fall over, it lights a match. That thing... That piece, those two things are the only things I disliked about this movie. Everything else, I really enjoyed. Hopefully you do too. Hopefully I, I think I, I sold it enough to check this out. Um, it's it's worth the watch for me. I, I, it's a, 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 a diamond in the rough. <laughs> a hidden gem, if you will. So there you go. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I mean, I, I, when I hit record on this, I was talking an eight. That's how much I enjoyed this movie surprisingly so i'm still thinking you know at least a seven if not an eight i might throw an eight out there um but there you have it but real quick i do want to talk about what he said the book was about um it, the rest of the movie is not very revealing except for that piece anyway uh, i don't want to get into that you got to check it out but if you want to hear that one piece because it it it, it wakes me up and it made me want to watch the film even more, read the book kind of stuff. And if you don't, don't worry. I'm not going to spoil the ending or anything like that. I just want to give his quick description of the book because I have to share it with somebody. So if you don't want to hear it and you want to watch it, that's fine. I don't mind. You know, like, subscribe, tell all your friends and all that jazz. Um, and I thank you for watching this far. But if you want to stick around just for that little piece to see if maybe you need that tipping point to push you over to watch this movie, stick around. So, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Again, I'm not spoiling the ending. I just want to say, when she asked, what's the book about? And his answer is, it's about a priest who dies and goes to see God. And he says to God, what was my purpose in life? And God tells him, when we were 12 year old, 12 year old, 
I put you out in the middle of the road to slow down a car. And of course, Alice Eve asks the question, well, who was in the car? And Guy Pearce says it's not about who was in the car. It was about slowing down the, slowing down the car. I mean, just think of that. And, it, and the whole thought behind the book is that they're in, we're insignificant in this world. Like, God put us in here to be insignificant. So these movie reviews mean nothing. Like, I thought to myself, what if the, my main purpose on earth was taking an apple that was sitting in my kitchen that was got a little old to throw it in the woods for a deer to eat? That's the only reason I was put on this earth, for that little significance. <laughs> and I was just like, whoa! <laughs> so, that's where we are. Um, but I wanted to share that with you because I won't do justice to anybody else. So if you stuck with me this far, I really appreciate it. Check out this movie. It's worth it. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw a little quick review on TikTok so I hit as many people as possible. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.